Oh boy, do we have a fun one today. But before we take a look at what we're going to be showcasing, even though you already know because you've seen the thumbnail, spoiler alert for anyone who has not played or beaten Resident Evil 4. I don't even know if this is the final boss, but I have a good feeling it is. My friends, I give you Osmond Sadler, if that's how you say his name. I've never actually beaten Resident Evil 4. I've gotten pretty far into it, but not far enough to fight this guy. We can see this dude has problems. Now you might think, what the hell does he have up his ass? You're gonna find out here in today's video. But of course, we need to make sure that we're well equipped. And I have a plethora of great Half-Life 2 weapons that we did do in the last video. If you guys wanna check that out, I'll put that in the top right corner. No more dilly-dallying, let's get into the real biz. What does this guy do? Well, he is infected with some kind of parasite? Virus? I don't know, man. Resident Evil, Raccoon City, all this shit. They always got some crazy virus, some tyrant, some nemesis, whatever. This is just the next guy in the lineup, and we have actually a few versions of him. We have Osmond Sadler, standard. <laughs> You're gonna notice. I'm sorry, but that running animation, it, it is way too funny. But uh, his attack is a little repetitive. Now, I don't want to be too harsh because I know that creating add-ons can be difficult. It, it's just, I, I can't not laugh at this animation <laughs> and the sound effect, but he pretty much pulls out a tendril and whips you with it. Now, thankfully there is a bit of startup, so you are able to dodge it pretty effectively. And just so you guys know, Mr. Sadler here does start out, if I can actually see his health, all right, this is quickly turning into the weirdest hentai I've ever seen. And if you piss him off enough, apparently he'll give you the palm too. But in terms of health, he's got about 2,000 health. Now, it's not too difficult to do damage to him. Although, this weapon is not the best one for that. We're gonna whip out Annabelle here, and oh, we pissed him off! So I think that when he does that, that's actually his second form. And you guys will get a better idea of what that is here in a second. Anyway, we can just pretty much do this. If you shoot him enough, it pisses him off to make him use and bolt all the way to you. But I definitely don't want that, so we're going- Oh! Oh god, he's puking! Okay, so when he does this, I assume he's weak. Which is when- Which is when you want to go in for the kill. But of course, as we can see here, um, dude is actually- Ow, my ears. Don't worry guys, I'll make sure that wasn't too loud, but that was definitely- an odd glitch, it happens every time we shoot him with a shotgun. My guess is he's reacting to every single shot that hits him, and that's what makes that weird sound glitch, but we can see that he's really not all that difficult. All right, just for now, we're gonna switch web. Ugh, this isn't my G3. All right, I got a serious question. Where the fuck is my G3? All right, we're just gonna use the Arc 9 weapons instead. So, um, this should make quick work of him. If not, the Modern Warfare weapons should definitely and honestly, there's really not a whole lot to this NPC, but when you do eventually decide to kill him... Well, let's just say things are about to get very, very freaky. And just like that... We could see <laughs> Mr. Sadler's true form. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this real quick. So, if you guys have played Resident Evil 4, you'll know that a bunch of freakish things like this does happen in the game. But check this out. So, his body is pretty much just like the carrier and this is the real beast inside we can see that's his face wow that thing is horrifying <laughs> honestly though classic resident evil stuff um i think resident evil 4 is in my opinion one of the scarier games because it's just so eerie with all the eyeballs and stuff but now we can see he has a whole host of new things he can do. He can jab you. The animations, in my opinion, by the way, do look a lot better as well. He's also got this diving attack with the main head. The problem I have with that attack, though, is you end up getting hit before the animation plays out. So you kind of just die out of nowhere. Also, make sure you are not too far away from this guy because he will yeet rebar out of nowhere at you. I don't know why, but that's like the funniest thing I've ever seen. Let's go ahead and see if he can just go ahead and whip out something from the ground. And there we have it! So, what tremendous force that is. And he's also going to have a lot more health, so... Do not underestimate this guy, you don't want to be too close, but you also don't want to be too far away. It's kind of a bit of a balancing game. I like that he has more than just one attack though, compared to, well, you know... Alrighty, so what happens when you do deal enough damage to him? Hopefully I'm not doing too much. 
There we go. You'll see he actually gets down, and then you're able to pretty much dish out all the damage you need within a short time. But I think it's really cool that the creator implemented those kind of stun effects, just like in the game. Well, at least I assume they're in the game. All right, and we got another one. Time to really dish out the damage. If you guys wanna know, by the way, which weapon pack I'm using, this is the Modern Warfare Weapons. An absolutely fantastic weapon pack. Probably the best weapon pack on the workshop, in my opinion. But I'll link all these weapons and, of course, this NPC in the description. However, with all this being said, okay, you know what, hold up. Okay, I was gonna end it with the crowbar, but I guess not. And that was Osman Sadler, a freak of an NPC for sure, but an amazingly replicated, well, thing, I don't even know if it's a guy anymore, that you can fight and then have nightmares about the following day. But guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this video until the end. Links will be in the description as always. Leave a like and subscribe if you want, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, farewell.